Hello YouTube, welcome to the second tutorial. Um, basically all I'm going to be doing now is going through the variables that we are going to be using in uh, this little program. So first of all we are going to be using a static variable called name and it is going to be of the string type um, but we're not declaring it right now so we're just naming it there. Okay, So we want that. Then we want to create a movie list itself. So static string and then make an array for a string and then we're going to say movie list equals and I'm going to make um, four options to choose from. So basically here I'm going to go one um, this could be the Avengers two saw four uh, three how about Prometheus and four let's go something light-hearted the Simpsons okay cool so now I've got my array of all the movies that are showing in my cinema um, what they're gonna be wanna what they're gonna wanna be able to choose as well is um, uh, the seats that they're gonna that uh, that they're gonna want now I would normally use um, an integer for this sort of thing but for now I'm just gonna use a normal string because it allows a larger amount of seeds to be chosen I'll show you what I mean later and then we're gonna need one more um, variable static int number and I will show you what that's being used for at a later stage so Basically, we're going to be using the name in the get name method, the movie list in the get movie le method, the number in the get movie method, and then the seats in the get seats method. Now, what happens when uh, when all the variables are up here is it creates a little portion of their RAM. It dedicates it to that specific thing. So there's a little bit of their RAM called number now. Uh, with nothing stored in it, but it's still taking up space. Same thing with seats, same thing with movie list, same thing with name. You know, it's all just there taking up space now. And that can really make your program slow if you're working on these large scale programs. So the best thing to do now would be to just take um, a small, um, you know, just, just use small bits at a time. And it's, it's, it's better to start learning how to program correctly now. So instead of creating these variables up here I'm going to create them in the actual methods if they are only used in that one method basically these are called global variables and local variables are variables that are only used in one method um, it, so if I create a variable in here for example int i I can only access in I can only access this integer i from within the get name method it is not available to anything in the get movie method in the get seats method in the main method nothing so if I'm only using that int i in this one method it's fine so I know that I'm only using the uh, number in the get movie method so I can put it in there and I don't need a static anymore because it's a local variable it's within the method um, and then I don't and then the seats can go inside of the get seats method um, and that's just, just pop it in there and then get rid of the static as well so basically that is what I'm going to be doing for all my variables I uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial and hopefully we will get on to finishing um, no actually we won't no actually we will yeah no this is quick we will finish this program quickly in the next tutorial